So guys, I really wanted to come to y'all this video in a better frame of mind, state of mind. I hope y'all can hear me. Uh, I have the windows down. I have been running around all morning. It was little dude's first day of school. And of course, nothing can go smoothly in the Casa Perez. Uh, he just got into class at 9.45. It's 10.10. 10. And I'm making my way down to his medical supply company to pick up some of his shakes. Because I took the whole day off. Because I just knew or worried that something was going to go awry. And it did. He was not on any of the rosters. They didn't have him uh, scheduled uh, for a, a, a classroom. It was a giant mess. At the end of it, it turned out that it was due to his being autistic. Uh, they wanted to be sure that he was in the right, on the right campus and with the right teachers. And uh, I was not told when I registered him that I was going to have to speak to the diagnostician and the speech therapist and a few other people just to make sure that we knew where he was going to go. So they had me running around this entire school from room to room to room trying to figure out why he wasn't on any other rosters. Not just that. Um, not only was there some chaos with the whole what school, what class does he go into, there was even a question as to whether or not he was on the right campus because apparently the campuses here in my town uh, do offer uh, classes for children with autism, but each campus has a specific group like one campus has um, classes for autistic children with behavioral issues. Another one has a campus for autistic children who are low, you know, little lower functioning. And then the campus that he's at right now, uh, which is the right campus, which was the right campus is for those uh, autistic children who receive inclusion in general ed. So um, why are people honking? So, um, we did find his campus. Um, we did find his campus. They finally found him in the system and uh, got him into class an hour and a half late. Um, but all is good on that front. Uh, the daycare situation, I found out from the people at the school that the daycare, the only daycare I have the option of using, is notorious for dropping off kids late in the morning and for picking them up late in the afternoon. So, oh. You guys, I, I need to look for an alternative. I need to fix that because I don't need to be worried about him being late to school every morning or being late for pickup, you know? So it was a chaotic morning, um, but eventually we found each other. Uh, that first hour, I dropped him off at daycare. He was to be dropped off, and I was going to meet him at the school with the school supplies and walk him to class. I wanted him to have that full-on experience of what it was going to be like every morning, so that's what we opted for. He was all gung-ho for it, and then an hour later, he's still not at daycare. Daycare is confirming that they left, but can't confirm if he's been dropped off yet because they can't call the bus driver because it's illegal for her to be speaking on the phone with the bus with a van full of children, and I'm just like, no walkie friggin' talkies? You know, you don't have any way to communicate with your driver. I mean, what the heck is that? So I'm just not happy with the whole situation. But it did turn out that the school staff was amazing. I got to meet a speech therapist, the diagnostician, the administrators that were trying to help me maintain uh, my calm because I was ready to go off on somebody. And I didn't really want the first day of school for them to find out that I'm that mom because I am that mom. And I don't apologize for being that mom. Uh, but the administrators, I mean, everybody was just awesome. They did their absolute very best considering it's the first day of school. There was chaos left and right. I mean, just all kinds of nonsense. But little dude is settled in class now. I am in Oak Cliff, going to pick up his shakes. And then, like I said, I took the day off. So I'm going to go to the little local thrift store here in my neighborhood um, and maybe film in there. I'm not sure. And I hope you guys can hear because, like I said, I have the windows down. Y'all know the car situation. It's 10, 14 in the morning, and it's already 89 degrees. The high is supposed to be 102. So I really don't want to be out here too long. But uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit.
man, I look haggard. And this is how I went to, to my kids' first day of school. My hair was brushed, my teeth were brushed, and my booty was washed. But, you guys, I am feeling the stress. And I'm super thirsty. And my head hurts, so I may be dehydrated. I don't know. But I look how I feel. Now, I know I don't ever come on here looking, you know, like America's next top model. But I'm tired, okay? Um, I'm trying to put a fun, positive spin to the day. Uh, I came home after getting little dude settled at school. I had like an hour and a half of sleep last night because I was just nervous about today. My arm hurts. My left arm hurts. Is that a heart attack? My anxiety is ridiculous, so I'm going to be making a bunch of inappropriate, stupid jokes, I'm sure, uh, because that's how I deal with stress. And like I said, I'm trying to get in some kind of, you know, uh, some kind of uh, happy, whatever, into the day. But anywho, came home, fell asleep, uh, was woken up by a phone call from my son's school to inform me that they were switching his class again. Now, mind you, when we were there, they had switched him twice. Uh, one teacher, then to another teacher, and I left thinking everything was good, and at 1.30, I get a phone call letting me know I was asleep. Like I said, I got like an hour and a half of sleep, so I, I felt, I don't even remember falling asleep, but I fell asleep. Oh, my arm hurts. I woke up, and, uh, Yeah, to a voicemail that said they had changed my kid's teacher again. So I had to call them back and leave them a voicemail. My concerns were, if y'all switched his teacher again, that teacher needs to be made aware that he is to be picked up by this certain daycare after school. And if he were switched again, did his school supplies also make the switch? Because the first teacher had his supplies and they switched him to another one. Then we had to take all his supplies to that teacher. And it's 70 something dollars worth of school supplies. Okay, I'm not going to lose out on some friggin' supplies. My little dude is not going to have to be struggling not having supplies because y'all didn't know where to put them. Okay, so I woke up, dealt with that. I have a headache. My arm hurts. My wrist hurts. All this hurts. Um... And I just wanted to come on and, and put a positive spin on things. And I started putting together the video. And I saw what I look like in daylight. <laughs> wow, what a first impression I made on my kid's first day of school. Angry, irritated, scarred up, just all kinds of foul. <sighs> but it is what it is. Like I said, I look like I've been feeling lately and it ain't good. I look haggard. I look tore up. I look over and done with. But anywho, let's get a little positivity up in this joint. I have a few little things to show you guys. Uh, stuff we picked up last weekend maybe. I don't remember. Or this past weekend. We did some Dollar Tree. I did go to 99 cent only and I'll put in that little snip it in here somewhere um and then show y'all what i picked up there but let me start off with the things that i picked up at the thrift store today uh i have about an hour before i have to go pick up little dude and i'm fighting every urge in me to go to the school and wait out front for him because i know i can't do that because i'm not going to be able to do that every day so we have to play the program okay but my instincts and my mommy gut are just like girl go pick your child up but we can't you know but anyway I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place right now, but let me show you guys the stuff that I picked up at uh, the Drifty Station. I saw this in the books, and I couldn't resist the title, The Tortilla Factory. The Tortilla Factory, and right away when I saw this, I thought of Diego Rivera. I love Diego Rivera, and I love his prints, and I thought that it was going to be chock full of those types of... Um, of um, pictures and I wasn't really disappointed there are some really nice pictures in here it's, it's a story of how 
um, the, the corn for the tortillas makes it from the field onto your table thanks to the brown hands who work the yellow soil under the bright sun and blah, blah, blah. It's, it seems like it's really, really nice. And I, I grabbed that. I thought it would be nice. And maybe I, maybe I could take some pictures out and frame them. I don't know. But it was $2, so I grabbed that. Uh, there's some other stuff somewhere. I hardly get clothing there because the people who donate are really rough on them. But I did find two articles of clothing that I thought would be useful for little dude. Just a little white uniform shirt uh, for $2.50. And then some khakis, which he doesn't like to wear, but I like to have them just in case they're going to do something a little dressier than jeans. So I found them. These little khakis and those were four dollars a little pricey for me but like I say the money goes right back into our community so I bought those for him and then I picked up two fun things now I will tell you guys this because my memory is so dumb on this phone and I just have no energy and I really just want to visit with you guys back and forth uh, if my phone cuts me off that's how the video is going to end. I'll try and come back on. And I'm rambling, so I'm probably going to kill my memory. But, ooh. ooh, nothing like hair down your throat. Okay, so I saw this. I don't know if you can see it in the back. I saw this little bowl. See the silver? See the silver? Okay. See that vase? Remember that vase with the silver etching? I thought this would be pretty sitting on the nightstand next to it. It's not the same exact rose, but it is floral, and I thought it was really pretty, and it was $1.50. So I grabbed that. And the only other thing I picked up there, I could not resist. I have been wanting one of these, and I got a plastic one from Dollar Tree or 99 cent only or somewhere. But I've always wanted one of these real deal deli ones. And when I saw it, I was like, that is too cute. Ooh, she picked this up real good. Look, guys. Ooh, is there something else in there? It's the straw dispenser. Well, it's taped shut. Now, I hope it's the straw dispenser. Because I'm thinking, is it one of those thingies that the barbershop uses with the blue liquid in there? And they have their combs to kill all the cuckoos and piojos and stuff on their combs. But I'm pretty sure... This is a straw dispenser, and it's nice and thick and sturdy and old school diner looking, soda fountain looking, and it was four bucks, so I grabbed that. I am so happy about this. This little things that give me joy, so I grabbed that, and that was all I picked up at Thrifty Station. Now, let me see what the heck I have here other than, oh, I have some Burlington stuff of uh, Little Dude, of course, shopping for school clothes. The only thing that I'm going to show you guys, and I'm only going to show it because it's here at my feet, are two of the three pairs of shoes that he picked out. This boy loves red, okay? I'm not partial to a bright red, but he likes a bright red, and it's actually a deeper red than what's showing up on camera. But these are some little Reebok that he had to have, and they were at $16.99 with the uh, Burlington, with the Burlington uh, price. Now, I liked these. Um, he picked these out as well. It was between the white ones and the black ones, but he tends to like the black better. Found these little Adidas leather. Really cute. And these were, excuse me, 30 bucks, which is probably what I would pay at Foot Locker on a sale, but he really liked them, so grabbing those. And then he has on some really cute nautical ones for his first day of school. Um, so that's that. Oh, goodness gracious, that's that. Um, I did go to Thrift Town apparently sometime before today, maybe last weekend, I think, maybe, I don't know. And I found this really pretty glass uh, hummingbird feeder. And I get them at the Dollar Tree, but they end up, I don't know if the squirrels in my neighborhood are freaking kamikaze because I see the squirrels trying to get in them, or if the squirrels break them to try and get the little juice or whatever because I have bird feeders out there too. The squirrels freaking destroy them. We got some gangster squirrels. So the ones from the Dollar Tree don't last long and this one was glass and I thought it was really pretty and I think it was 
Yeah, it was $2.99. So, thought I'd give that a try. Okay, I, I don't remember really, honestly, what was in here. So, we're shopping together to get clothes. Okay, I found a little dude some clothes. Long sleeve, layered little shirt for $2.99. Little muscle Abercrombie. He likes bright colors. He really does. And I guess that's pretty good. This one he may not be able to wear too long because it it fits him with just a little give. I like for him to be a little roomier and comfier, but he liked it. And that was four bucks, which isn't bad for Abercrombie and it's in good condition. And then I found this. He may have to grow into it or not. Yeah, he may have to because it's 14, 16. Uh, but I found this polo. Polo. A Ralph Lauren polo. Um, and that was $3.99, which is an awesome price for as good a shape as this little shirt is in. And then I ordered him some from RalphLauren.com that is due to be delivered tomorrow. Figures the day I'm home, it's not going to be delivered. But Ralph Lauren has awesome clearance sales and um, um, sales on top of sales and discounts on top of discounts. So I go on there at least three times a year and just kind of stock up on on stuff for him but then I don't go crazy because I already know thrift stores are going to yield a whole lot of really good condition Ralph Lauren anyway but I say all that to say that oh I say all that to say that I hope what I ordered him online I ordered him online what was available like their sizing if I get a medium it's 810 and he's not at 810 anymore if I get a large it's a 12 14 sometimes 14 16 so I'm hoping that what I ordered him is going to fit because I think some of the size of that one. I'm not sure. I don't know. And I found this. I liked it for this room. It's just a trinket box. I don't know what came in it. There's still a silica package in there. I don't know what was supposed to be in it. But I'm going to put pretty things in it. Maybe jewelry. Maybe my favorite is lipsticks. I don't know. But I thought it would be a nice little addition to a shelf in here at $1.99. Um, then I found this thing. And you guys, when... I was little, and even now, I loved these fakey crystal glass diamond doorknobs. Loved them. Now, this is um, a coat hook. I'm going to spray paint this white, black, or silver. I don't know. For this room, you guys let me know what y'all think. They had two of them, um, but one of them, the little doorknob was real faded and gross. And this one I thought was pristine. And look at them. It takes me back to my childhood. We lived in a house in Oak Cliff. The house was tore the heck up. But it had beautiful wood floors. And every door in the house had these doorknobs. And I remember when we moved, I stole one. And I don't know what happened to it. But I've always just loved the look of these. So I want to spray paint the base. White, silver, or black. You guys let me know what y'all think would be best. Now, this was expensive, but because I loved it so much, I did buy it, and it was 10 bucks. So y'all know my heart had to have been thumping in my chest for my cheap self to spend $10 or something like that. So, got that. I'm trying to be comfy here, and I feel like the ladies are not cooperating. They're little ladies, but they still can, you know, cause havoc on screen. So, if y'all see me doing this, that's why. Uh, we went to Dollar Tree the other day. Oh, the day I went to 99 cent only, which I said I'll add the snippet in. Uh, just for the last little minute, uh, school supplies and things like that. And uh, my head hurts. Sorry. God, can I ever just be positive? Can I ever just be happy? Can I ever just be... Well, I usually am, right? I'm just feeling it the last few days. But anyway, my head's hurting. And I'm talking out the side of my butt. But anywho, short stories. You guys, I love short stories. And they're all based in Mississippi and Louisiana. I'm a southern gal, okay? I really don't know what the stories are about, but there are four short stories in this book. And whoever wrote it got really, really high acclaims for his short stories. So I went ahead and got it. That's what it looks like. So, yay. No, five. One, two, three, four. I don't know if it's five stories or five reviews. But new and selected stories. I just thought that was awesome. So grab that. Thought I heard my doorbell. Oh. 
probably my neighbor guy wanting money for cutting my grass. What grass? Our grass here is hay, okay? Nothing grew, but I noticed that my hay was considerably shorter a couple days ago, and that's my little neighbor dude. Well, not a little guy. He's a neighbor guy who cuts grass, and I thought I heard my doorbell, but I'm not getting up. He can come back. But anyway, I got this silver nail polish. Why? I don't pick my nails. I just thought it was pretty. And this is my go-to when I do wear makeup. I love the snot out of this Wet n Wild lipstick. It's called Breeze. And every time I see it, I pick it up. It's kind of tan. It's kind of pink. It's, wow, I love it. So there's something else in here. And then I got this kind of sea foamy green nail polish. It looks gray, but it's not. When you put them together, you can see the difference. There you go. I love this color. I may paint my nails one day. I don't know. I grabbed two more of these to leave lying around the house because I'm always needing my phone charged in different rooms of the house. So I grabbed two of these. And these will last a week. I charge and watch my phone, which bends all the little wires in them. And you really shouldn't do that, but that's what I do. And then I saw, I think it was Tina. Um, I think it was Tina who... Um, hauled these and I've never seen them. They're the secret body cleansing wipes. You get 15 in a pack and they're like little wet towelettes to freshen up. And with my car being hot, your girl needs to have some kinds of, some kind of things like that. So I grabbed two of them. I think she gave them a good review. Uh, maybe the, the quantity was an issue. I'm not sure, but she was going to try them and she didn't dislike them, but I was just like, Hey, I found some. So I grabbed two of those little boxes. One for work. One from a purse. Um, and she changed her channel name. Tina's my friend, Tina. Uh, she, her channel name was Tina Soto. Uh, and she changed her name to come and having tea with Tina. Something tea with Tina. I'm going to link her on the bottom because she she's really, really busy. And she still isn't able to put up a lot of content. But her content is starting to get really, really cute. I mean, she's just such a personality. And she's getting her family involved and her husband and I'm just having fun watching them when she's able to put some on there. She changed her channel name, so I'm going to put that link down in the bottom if you guys want to go say hi if you already haven't. Um, and the only other thing I picked up is uh, some things at the 99 Cent Holy. But before that, I'm going to uh, insert the clips of me at the 99 Cent Holy yesterday and then show you guys the haul. So I'll be right back. I came to the 99 Cent Holy to look around. I hadn't been here in a while, and they have their fall stuff out. They're putting out their Halloween stuff, which is super exciting for me. But this fall stuff is so pretty. I wanted to share it with you guys in case you'll have a 99 cent only in your area and you all haven't been or uh, maybe y'all go on the regular but haven't been lately. Just curious as to what yours stocks as opposed to this store, but they have some really pretty stuff here. And then your traditional little scarecrows, that type of thing. Look at these pumpkins, guys. These pumpkins are a trip. So neat. I have white ones, black ones, orange ones. So pretty. Let me show you these skulls. I know a lot of people who like skulls, and I thought this was amazing. I mean, it's devilish, of course, but they're really neat for people that like them. Y'all go check out your 99 cent only. There's the little rats they bring out every year. There are a few little Halloween items. Isn't this cute? Looks a little garland or a door hanger, I'm not sure, but I like the colors. There's their fall inspired kitchen decor. Cups. I've watched people do. ASMR videos 
on this stuff. It's young coconut. And it looks and sounds really delicious. I like coconut. I bet that's good. But I never know with my allergies. They got their little produce set up for school kids. Getting ready to make them school lunches. It looks really nice. Usually it's just kind of thrown together. Whoever is putting this together is doing a good job. There she is around the corner. Gotta give the lady stalker props because it looks really nice. Looks really nice. She's doing a good job. Ooh, pears. I love pears. All kinds of yummy produce. Look at the variety of cereals, guys. What a hoot. Lucio O's. I don't know who that is. What did I see over here that I thought was cute? Oh, look. The idea of a berry cereal is kind of weird, but I want it just because it's a ketty corn. So cute. Booze, y'all. Dollar store booze. Look at that. <laughs> That's cute. What? Cookies and cream Pinot Grigio? Interesting. Well, I think I'm done here. I'm going to pick up some of these and be off. I don't know why I thought I had more fun stuff from the 99 cent only, but I did buy a lot of uh, produce and some groceries and, and canned and boxed goods. So the only fun things that I found were these. Well, so that I'm going to show you guys are these frames. They're kind of shadow boxy, the glass on top and the box on the inside. See the depth? $1.99 each, and they have the fake diamond situation happening and you can kickstand them or you can hang them and I'm going to hang them here. Let me show you guys where I want to hang them. Uh, I think it's going to be okay. It might work, it might not, but I needed something to break up the monotony of this mirror and black frame wall and I wanted some sparkly. I was really looking for something silver, but I've been looking and looking and I can't find anything really cute silver that I like. So this is kind of silver and it's sparkly and it has white, so it might work. Let me show you guys what I'm thinking about doing. Hang on. Okay, so here's my little girly corner. There's all the stuff I just showed you guys. Here's my little girly corner, but I see this space here and this space here. I kind of wanted something to break that up. You know what I mean? Kind of incorporate some of the silver something. You know what I mean? So um, I want to put one here. And then one down here. Y'all see what I did with this shadow box? I drifted this shadow box long ago. And y'all remember me showing y'all my printed diva prints? Well, they're in my shadow box. So let me stand back a little so y'all can figure. Y'all can tell me what y'all think. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. If I put one of these silver ones here and here, what y'all think? I don't know. That's kind of what I want to do. I still haven't moved my headboard. That's on my agenda for today if it doesn't get too late uh, and my little dude doesn't come home traumatized. I am definitely moving this over as my TV stand. This is the last thing that I'm probably going to do in this room. Uh, but y'all tell me what y'all think. Yes? No? One here and one there? Let me know. And the only other thing that I have to show you guys is the Ipsy, which I haven't opened yet. I kind of remember snooping in the, what was in the August Ipsy. I remember the bag I thought was ugly, uh, but I don't remember what items I was supposed to get. So if you all want to open with me, y'all can open with me. And if it cuts off and I don't get to say I love y'all bunches, I do love y'all bunches. I really do. Thanks for the shout out. Did a light dim in here? A blow? A bulb blow? It got really kind of dark. What's happening? I don't know. Um, but uh, if the camera shuts off, I do love y'all bunches. And thank you guys for reaching out on my crybaby video. Y'all are so stinking awesome. And it's hard for me to put myself out like that. But you all have been so sweet and supportive and awesome. And y'all just encourage me. Um, between y'all and Tina and Melinda boosting me up when I need it, when I'm in the pits like that, y'all y'all really help me. Y'all really, really do. Well, okay, it's not as ugly as it looked on the picture. It feels kind of nice. 
And the green is okay. It looked really ugly online. Can I not get any kind of... Hmm. Oh, well. Let's see what's in here. I have a mineral body lotion, dead sea water, because that's what you want to slather all over your body, dead things. Um, I'd sniff it, but I want to see if we can get through the video. Oh, an itsy bitsy something. An itsy bitsy incredible jelly shot lip quencher. Quenches the lips. Okay. Speaking of, I'm out of water. I'm out of water. What is this? Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trophy Wife. Looks pretty. Look, it matches my skin. It smells like vanilla. Why does everything smell like vanilla? The theme of it is bury yourself. I've been burying myself, haven't I? Just crying, just having fits with you guys. But I love y'all. I really do. I really do. Y'all are awesome. I wish I could meet y'all in person. Pixie by Petra. And I've had the privilege of meeting some of y'all in person. Um, but there's so many of y'all that I just love so much and have taken into my heart. Like, I already know y'all personally. I just wish I could. Pixie by Petra. What the heck is this? Is it blush? Yes. Fresh face blush in whisper pink. And I can't open it. So that's what whisper looks like. Whisper. Okay. So there's that. And this thing, color B. Nail liqueur. No, that's that's what you drink. Lacquer. <laughs> it's that liquor, liqueur, liqueur, lacquer. Oh, in a very band-aid color. This color almost of me. That's nice. I like this stuff. I don't know. I'm just I'm cranky and my head hurts, but my arms stop hurting. Um, so that's everything in the Ipsy for August. Um and that's everything short of one thing I want to show you guys. Okay, so I came home yesterday and I saw this tucked under my little table on my walkway and I was terrified of touching it or moving it because I was convinced it was a bomb. I was convinced there was a snake in it. I was convinced there was uh, mutilated chicken parts in it as part of some kind of voodoo ritual, which would explain why everything is going here lately. Um, but I wasn't sure what the heck it was. It was already open and I kind of shifted it and it was heavy and I said, you know what? No, I'll deal with it tomorrow, which is today. So I came home today. I pulled it out from under. I opened it carefully. And there is indeed a swan in here. Um, a little dusty swan. I don't know where this came from. I have my suspicions. I told you guys about the little, the, the man. I call him little dude because he seems to be a little, a little challenged. He seems very, he seems like he has, maybe I have some mental or some mental issues. He seems very young. He acts very young. And, and as I thought about it, I'm like, who the heck would have put this on my stoop? He has, he makes his rounds, you know, picking up pay for cutting the grass. And he cut the grass Friday. So he's been making his rounds. And I'm like, could it have been him? And it may have been him because he has seen me outside before. He drives up. He'll see me outside, stops and makes conversation. He goes, hey, I was wondering if you'd like this. He's given me a vase a glass vase and then he came and bought me some artificial flowers one time uh thought i'd like them um because he sees how i decorate outside and he goes i thought you'd like these to decorate with and i'm thinking he's the one who left me this little swan so i'm not worried about being brujeria at the moment witchcraft witchcrafted witch food i think i'm okay um but it's nice, and I'll definitely put something in it. I may use it in this room because it's glass. But that's everything. I wanted little dude to say hi to y'all. Um, I'm hoping his day went better for him. I hope it, it went better than it sounded on my end because it, it just, <laughs> we had a rough start of it. But I've already talked about that, so we're not going to talk about that anymore. We're going to let that go. We're going to let go and let God. Uh, I told y'all I'm forgetting to pray sometimes, and then I catch myself. I'm like, girl, I know you are not tripping and having all these fits and all scared and all anxious when you got G-O-D in the house. Quit it. But anywho, that's everything that I wanted to show y'all. I can't believe. I mean, I do it all the time. I go to the grocery store. I go to Walmart looking fresh-faced, if you can call it that, rough-patched face. But I was not thinking. I was so busy trying to get my kid 
cute and together and to school and I just put on clean clothes and brushed my hair and brushed my teeth and went on about my business. It wasn't until I made the first part of this video that I realized, geez, I really went out in public looking all like that. But anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Like I said, I never walk around looking like some friggin' model. <sighs> it's just been a really stressful day, so I'm nitpicking every little thing. But I'm going to see what time it is. I don't know what time it is. And then see if I can't get this little shelf over here as my TV stand before I go pick up little dude. And I want to make him an awesome dinner. Maybe we'll pick up something. I don't know. Maybe the kid is in the mood for a greasy cheeseburger, which we don't do until Fridays. But sometimes you got to have a cheeseburger. Maybe he wants one. I don't know. Whatever he wants. I will make. But until my next go around, thank you guys again for just your love and support and your awesome heart boosting advice and encouragement. Um, till my next go around, I will talk to you all later. Bye.